welcome back. Chances are you probably spent some time the last couple of weekends enjoying the beautiful weather, working out in your yard, getting it ready for spring. Patrick Vote with By the Blade is here with some tips on getting your yard into tip top shape. Hi. Welcome. Hi, nice to see you. This is definitely the time of the year. I walk around my neighborhood in Brookside and everybody's out in their yep. yard yep. getting their landscaping started. We're surrounded by beautiful flowers. So we want to talk a little bit about the first steps of sure. taking care of your yard. And the first thing you suggest is cleaning it up. Right. What are we cleaning? Well, you're cleaning the yard, you're cleaning the landscaping beds. Uh, you want to get that old debris out that's, you know, developed throughout the winter time. Mm -hmm. uh, get those leaves picked up, limbs picked up, get all that stuff bagged up, hauled off if you can. Uh, and then go ahead and just assess the yard. If you need to do any seeding, uh, if everything's in pretty good shape, just mow it down short around two inches, collect mm -hmm. it if you can, and then you can go ahead and get started on your fertilization program, seeding if need to, mm -hmm. things like that. Well, talking about fertilization, is it too late? now in spring to get that started? Well, Mother Nature's uh, kind of delayed things for us this mm -hmm. year and, and with, in my opinion, the official start of spring yesterday with the home opener, uh, mm -hmm. you still have plenty of time to, to get everything down. Uh, Brett says the, the weather this week's gonna be a little chilly, so that's gonna delay it even more. Okay. Um, but go ahead and get your, your fertilizer down, seeding if you need to do any seeded areas, mm -hmm. uh, and only put a straight fertilizer down in those seeded areas. You wanna go ahead and hold off on putting your pre-emergent down only in your sunny areas or after that seeds came up and you've mowed it a couple of times. Okay, and then next up you want to take is uh, restore. What do you mean by restore? That's going to be that fertilizer aspect. Um, okay. You know, your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. That's really going to give a, a kick to that grass and, and really get it to fill back in and, and thicken up. Uh, with the drought that we had last summer, uh, water is going to be important as well, not only for your yard, but also for your plants. Mm -hmm. uh, good fertilizer this spring uh, and keeping everything watered is going to be a, a great step to getting everything going for the year. And and then next up, you say you want to treat your trees. That's right. Um, we, we had, uh, you know, some drought issues last year, like I said, and mm -hmm. so definitely try and get some water on those if Mother Nature doesn't do it for us. Um, but last year, we had an a emerald ash borer problem uh, that started up in the Northland, and it's still down in some of the southern areas of Missouri and Oklahoma, but it's moving this way. So if you have ash trees, we recommend getting going on a preventative program mm -hmm. right away. Do you think that's going to be a problem that's going to spread? It will. It's going to be a major problem. We're talking yeah. millions of trees that are going to be lost if people wow. don't start to try and get a preventative program so started. So take care of that against the that's emerald right. ash borer. Yep. And it's going to leave a little triangular shaped uh, hole in the side of the tree. And you'll notice that or also start to notice that maybe the top of that ash tree is okay. starting to die out. All right. But, but get it. Get it. Uh, preventative treatment down right away. Absolutely. Yep. Take care of the problem before it even gets that's to right. you. That's uh, right. Finally, you say plan your getaway. Of course, you know, uh, after you get everything looking great, you got your color in there, mm -hmm. the yard's growing, everything's looking great, sit back, relax, watch that grass grow, and enjoy the beautiful scenery. And just give us an idea of some of the different flowers that you've brought here and, and you know, where these would work well in a yard. Okay, so we have some ro rose begonias and some lilies, mm -hmm. and those are going to be annuals, and so you really want to put those in, a, in maybe a small area, but give you just a nice splash of color. Mm -hmm. Mix that in with your perennials, that'll come back every year. Now, someone had told me once, that, you know, don't be afraid to mix your vegetables and your flowers, you know, together in one area as That's well. That's right. You can do that, you know, if you have a sunny area. A lot of homes associations don't allow for gardens, so if you can mix it in, maybe cover it up a little bit with some normal plantings, perennials, and flowers, it'll be a great mix. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So one piece of advice you want to offer people as we head into spring, the most important thing they should be thinking about right now. Uh, like I said, get any area seeded, uh, get the uh, yard watered, get your plants watered. Like I said, that drought last year, we've seen it firsthand, really did a number on it, mm -hmm. and get a fertilizer down, not only on your yard, but also on your plants. All right, Patrick, thank Good you so you. much. Yep. Okay, so let's send things over to Brett for a check of that forecast. Is it going to cooperate as we do all of this uh, yard work and get our lawns ready?